This is a Marlin Camp Carbine chambered in 45 ACP. I've taken out the stock 11 pound recoil spring and put in a 21 pound recoil spring which is recommended by Wolf Gun Springs. It's noticeably heavier, harder to pull back the action. So I'd like to know are there any squib loads which will cycle the action with this heavier recoil spring. So first I'll show you that the rifle is working normally by firing normal loads. These are cast bullet loads. Now I'll shoot some more cast bullets out of cartridges and these will have, they'll start at 2.1 grains of trail boss powder and uh, the next cartridge will have one tenth of a grain less and so on. Two point one. Two point oh. One point nine. One point eight. One point seven. One point six. One point five. One point four. One point three. Now I'll have to load another magazine. So now I'm continuing my test at 1.2 grams. One point one. Uh, I think that bullet got out the barrel. Well, there's the fired case. See the hard case didn't be jet. Okay, that bullet got out the barrel. The fired case didn't be jet. So this is 1.0 grains of powder. Well, the fired case ejected. There's a cartridge in the chamber. and the bullet got out of the barrel. So this will be nine-tenths of a grain. Nine-tenths. Okay, that case is another smokestack jam. And the bullet got out of the barrel. So that was nine tenths. So this is eight tenths. Another jam, the case didn't eject.
and there's a bullet in the barrel. So I'm not getting squib loads which cycle the action. The squibs I'm getting with this heavier recoil spring do not uh, eject the fired case and chamber the next round. I got the bullet out of the barrel. Did not eject the fired case. And there's a bullet in the barrel. Cast bullet load summary. Cast squib loads which cycle the blowback action of a Marlin Camp carbine chambered in 45 ACP with a 21 pound recoil spray. Trail Boss Powder 1.1 and 0.9 grains did not eject the fired case. 0.8 and 0.7 grains did not eject the fired case but were squibs. I did not find any cast bullet squib loads which cycled the bolt and chambered the next cartridge for the Marlin Camp carbine chambered for 45 ACP with a 21 pound recoil spring. I've got the 21 pound recoil spring in the rifle. I'm looking for squib loads with jacketed bullets that cycle the action and chamber another cartridge. But first I'll shoot some jacketed ammunition to show you the rifle is working normally. Now I'm going to use 230 grain spear hollow point bullets. I'm going to start with 3.5 grains of trail boss and each cartridge after that will have one tenth of a grain less. 3.5 3.4 Now I didn't hear it hit the steel plate Let's see if it cycled the action. Yes, there's a loaded cartridge in the chamber. So it cycled the action with 3.4 grains. No, the bullet got out of the barrel. Okay, so we'll Continue with 3.4 grains. Let's see. That was 3.4 grains. We'll continue with 3.3 grains. I didn't hear that one hit the steel plate. That was 3.3 grains. It cycled the action and chambered another cartridge. Yes, there's a bullet in the barrel. So that is a squib load that cycles the action and chambers another cartridge with a jacketed bullet and a 21 pound recoil spring. Got the bullet 
pulled out of the barrel. So we'll go with 3.2 grain. That hit the steel plate. So this is 3.1 grain. I didn't hear it hit the steel plate. Yes, there's a loaded cartridge in the chamber, so that means it cycled the action. But the bullet got out the barrel. So this is three grains. Okay, it, cyc it cycled the action and put another cartridge in the chamber. There's a bullet in the barrel. I got the bullet out of the barrel. This is 2.9 grains. Ejected the fired case, and I can see a cartridge in the chamber, so that means it cycled this action. And there's a bullet in the barrel. So that's another squib load that cycled the action and chambered another cartridge with jacketed bullet with a 21 pound recoil spring. This is 2.8 grains. That cycle the action and put a loaded cartridge into the chamber. And there's a bullet in the barrel. Jacketed bullet load summary. Jacketed squib loads which cycle the blowback action of a Marlin Camp carbine chambered in 45 ACP with a 21 pound recoil spring. Trail Boss Powder 3.3, 3.0 through 2.8 grains are squib loads which cycle the bolt and chamber the next cartridge. I did find jacketed bullet squib loads which cycle the bolt and chamber the next cartridge for the Marlin Camp carbine chambered in 45 ACP with a 21 pound recoil spring. Conclusion There were no cast bullet squib loads which cycle the bolt and chamber the next cartridge for the Marlin Camp carbine chambered in 45 ACP with a 21 pound recoil spring. However, there were jacketed bullet squib loads which cycle the bolt and chamber the next cartridge for the Marlin Camp carbine chambered in 45 ACP with a 21 pound recoil spring. 
These results are not the same as the rifle using 11 pound recoil spring. See my video, a squib load which does cycle the action. The Marlin Camp Carbine 45 ACP firing cartridges with cast bullets had squib loads which cycled the action and chambered the next cartridge using the 11 pound recoil spring but did not have squib loads which cycled the action and chambered the next cartridge with cast bullets using the 21 pound recoil spring. No difference for jacketed bullet squibs which function the bolt and chamber the next cartridge when using a stronger recoil spring and a Marlin Camp carbine chambered in 45 ACP. Be aware of the potential problem of firing a squib load having the action cycle and chamber another cartridge. The shooter might not realize it was a squib load and fire the cartridge in the chamber. That bullet would strike the bullet stuck in the barrel and damage the firearm. Which is what happened in the video Tommy Gun Blow Up. 